be now charged with filing a false police report and claiming that someone had threatened to kill her. According to Floyd County Police, the employee, Cheryl Lisa Stewart, said it happened at the GSB post north of Rome. 11 Alive's Joe Hankey walks us through the woman's claim and the investigation which put her in jail. I'm told she worked at this Georgia State Patrol post here for three years without any issues, but tonight she's on paid administrative leave. Police reports show she claimed a man with a gun walked through the post front door right here and then threatened her life. Once Cheryl Lisa Stewart filed the report, several law enforcement agencies began investigating, kicking off a manhunt to find the suspect. On Facebook, the Floyd County Police Department posted the woman's description of the man she said came into the GSP post off Martha Berry Highway north of Rome. Police mentioned the incident happened around 4 p.m. on Wednesday and asked anyone who recognized the suspect to call 911. As officers investigated, though, they say Stewart's story fell apart. Her arrest warrant mentions she was shown video of no one entering the building, but she continued to willfully falsify the scheme that she had come up with. On Thursday, police arrested Stewart, charging the GSP employee with a felony for making false statements, along with two misdemeanors for filing a false report and causing false public alarm. And not only did the report turn out to be false, according to police who investigated it, but it tied up valuable resources in the area. I'm putting together that part of the story for 11 Alive News right here at 6. Reporting in Floyd County tonight, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News.